is Marsha L. Cooper, and I am here with the weather. Today, we have received news that several coastal cities have been hit side by tsunami, NATO quakes, and broken off the American continent. These cities are feeling very isolated and alone, so please send them a get well card to help them feel much better. These cities have now embraced island culture. This just in, New York has palm trees! Ah! Now for the weekly predictions. On Monday, it will be sunny with 127 degrees Fahrenheit. But grab your jackets, because it's going to be chilly. On Tuesday, prepare for heavy rains and lightning. So strap on your metal rods to generate your own electricity. On Wednesday, there's going to be acid and frog rains, so grab an umbrella. And on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the city is going to be attacked by insane primates such as monkeys, gorillas, and apes. So to prepare, da prepare to bow down to your gorilla overlords. Well, that's it for the weather. See you tomorrow. This is Marsha L. Cooper signing off. And now, a message from our sponsors. Charlotte Clay bring you the latest sports news in the nation. The National Gobstones team, the Shooting Stars, sadly lost to Ireland in the international tournament held this weekend in Paris. On a happy note, the United States cheese rolling team scored a big win. For more on the story, we go to Henrietta Clark, who is at the site of their victory. Hello, everybody. I am Henrietta Clark, and I am at the site of the cheese rolling victory. Ha! So, the cheese rollers had a lot of fun running down big hills trying to catch the rolling cheese. I am glad they didn't cut it. Ha 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 ha! Well, there were not enough ambulances to take care of all of the injuries. So, they had to call more from other counties to fulfill their painful needs. Well, that is it on cheese rolling. Madison Winston, Harley Randall, bringing you the latest news on television. Apple just released a new virtual reality software that is so realistic, there's no need for friends family, pets, or any kind of interaction with real human beings. There is even an attachment that makes it so there is no need to stop and eat real food when it can be fed to you through a tube straight to your mouth. On another note, Harry Potter fans, get ready, because a new movie is coming out, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, based off the book by J.K. Rowling, explaining all of the mystical beasts from the best-selling Harry Potter series. Now... We have an interview with Lit P. Stock, explaining his life as a puppet. So, Lint P., what is, what's it like to be a puppet? Oh, great! I don't have to eat, 
drink or go to the bathroom, and whenever I get dirty, I just have to go in the hamper. Do you like feet? Feet are awesome! I love them so much! What is your favorite foot? I like the left because I don't have to kick as many soccer balls, and the right hand and foot just get so much attention. I like to go on the left so it doesn't feel left out. Do you like Kentucky Fried Chicken? I love it more than anything! Well, thank you for that awesome interview, Linty. Anytime, Stewie. All right, everyone. That's it for the latest stories. See you next time on GV News.